Hello, um, my name is Genevieve. I am 18 and I'm in the middle of my year 12 exams. I am very excited and feel quite honoured to be able to share with you my journey of being able to accept and welcome who I am. My year 10 was in 2021. As you know, during this year, we were coming in and out of lockdowns. This significantly impacted my ability to study and complete work, as well as limiting my social interactions, which meant I was struggling to make and maintain friendships with other people. When we did go back to school, I was alone, scared, sad, and terrified of the new situations and environments I was in, and definitely did not know how to study. This is a photo of me in year 10. I was very shy. And that's when I posted on the last day of year 10 that year. I'm so stoked. I am so ready to start BC the next year, as you can tell. <laughs> In year 11, in 2022, it was a huge leap from the previous years. I was meant to know how to learn, and I had to prove that I was learning frequently, all while maintaining a meaningful and fulfilling social life. As you might imagine, this seemed almost impossible, and I honestly believed that I could not do it. Then, amazing ICANN mentors came to my school in Term 2, and I had the courage to join the group. Their insight and sharing of their experiences throughout the sessions helped me change the way that I looked at myself. Gradually, I stopped listening to the self-criticisms and negativity and started focusing on the positivity and aspects of my self-talk that I could change and manage. This took me a really long time and I am still far from mastery of this skill. My bad days are still bad, but my good days are just that much better because I now can allow myself to be happy. Advocacy is a skill that I wholeheartedly believe everyone in this room should and can acquire. More importantly, self-advocacy, the ability to explain why you need something and to stand up for yourself is a skill that I learned in participating in ICANN. And I would not be able to make this speech if I couldn't tell those around me that this is what I wanted to do. Because of my new confidence, this is what I was able to do last year. I was able to participate in two amazing productions. I was in a production of Midsummer Night's Dream and Peter Pan, where I played um, Tiger Lily, performing in stage in front of a lot of people, kind of similar to the amount of people here today as well. This year, year 12, was, you know, it's a pretty big one. The real subject started and I immensely felt the pressure. Because of my new skills, I was able to not only realise that five subjects was too much for me to handle, but that it was okay to do four, and that if doing four subjects means that I will have a better year, academically, emotionally and socially, then four subjects is the correct choice. This kind of self-talk would never have happened before. I advocated for myself to my parents, psychologists and teachers and was able to continue my VCE with four subjects, which turned out to be the correct choice. Because I was no longer struggling with the volume of schoolwork, which impacted me so much that I could barely socialise, I have had the mental space to maintain quite strong friendships and have been able to fully enjoy the times of this year when I'm not studying. I value my friendships because these people, these special people, see me as I now see myself. I know who I am, I know why I am the way that I am, and I now know how to represent myself and be proud of who I am. Because of I can, I have the confidence to be who I want to be, be who I am, and be unapologetically. Thank you.